It's caught. 20, 10, touchdown. This is going to be in the gap. Yes, yes, yes. Goal, go to the flexor. Yes. Yeah, the Denver Huskies win their first state Good evening and welcome to Champlin Park High School. We've got volleyball action on this Monday night. The number three Rebels host Hopkins, Steve Thompson, along with Pete Anderson on a warm night. Warm here in the gymnasium for this one, but we're ready to go. And Pete, the uh, regular season winding down quickly. Absolutely. It's a, you know, a... a a big match here for Champlin to kind of get back into uh, into their winning ways as they look forward to uh, section tournament play starting up here in uh, just a couple of weeks. Uh, you know, Champlin coming off of a, a tough loss to number one team in the state in Wyzetta a couple uh, uh, last week on Tuesday and then bounced back with a, a, a 3-0 set win over Coon Rapids last Thursday. This is, a you know, an opportunity for them to start a new streak. Yeah, and they've played Wyzetta twice, and if they want to get to state, they've got to beat Wyzetta. they got to find a way, and it, it can be unfair depending on what section you're in, and two of the best teams in the state are in Section 5, and that is Champlin Park and Wyzetta, and that, that's what's ahead. They've got to find a way. Yeah, you know, you just keep, and the thing is, is, you know, for Coach John Yunker, you know he's not going to shy away from that competition. He's going to want his girls, his team, to see that, that high-level competition so that they know where they have to get to and what they have to keep doing in order to get that W. And, you know, he, he's got a championship here under his belt at Champlain Park. He has uh, had a lot of success here, so he knows what it takes to, to reach the apex. And, uh, you know, playing those big games against uh, opponents like Wyzetta, whether they're in section or not, is going to be something that prepares them for a, a, a tough section tournament. And we're meeting the teams right now on the floor. The Champlin Park run beaten so far this year. And Champlin Park, good balance, good depth. And you look at the Rebels, ranked number three and 14 and four, Pete. The, the, the Rebels have an awful lot of juniors that get the playing time we talked about carly gilt she's a junior reese axon is a junior uh their libero caitlin erickson uh, a senior but there, there aren't a ton of seniors on this rebel squad so if they don't find their way to state this year maybe next year right and, and you know that's the the thing too with with an experienced coach like uh, coach yunker you know it, we've seen this play out before and you know you think her you know, it, we've seen this play out before, and you know, you think back to the the teams that uh, that they've had in in winning state, getting to state tournaments. That didn't just happen overnight. They built that program up. They had young players that that got acclimated to the varsity experience, the varsity speed, that uh, that extra jump from the the younger levels, and uh, you get them ready for the best uh, the best possible game you're going to see, and and. Uh, I, ha I have uh, high faith in, in Coach Yunker being able oh, to, to do that here uh, with this team and, and get on a run coming off of that loss last week and, and head into section tournaments playing their best volleyball. Caitlin O'Connor will get us started for Hopkins there on the right. Both teams wearing dark uniforms, and I think we've got a point for Hopkins. Good swing in the middle by Lillian Jacobson, and the Royals have a 1-0 lead in this one. Serve continues. For O'Connor, a senior, and we mentioned uh, the setter, 256 and, and 58 is leading the team. And there's Gilt tapping it over for the point. Carly Gilt gets her first kill of the night. And, and great power game, but also a tremendous finesse game for Carly Gilt. Yeah, a very, uh, very talented player, can play uh, basically all six positions uh, all the way through, um, stays active. On the back end, is able to work both, you know, both outside hitting spots and also into the middle. Uh, a very, very multi-dimensional player there for the Champlain Park Rebels. Lily Reese serves it out to one Hopkins, and they will get the serve back. And here's Jennings to serve. They get it to Gilk, left-handed hit, left side, blocked out of there. And now there's Jennings deep, pulled out of there by Erickson, back to Gilk. And that one a little long, and it's 3-1 Royals, and they continue the serve. 
Amia Jennings, senior, 24 aces, 152. And there's one into the net, unforced error, 3 2. And the Rebels get the serve back, and this time it's going to be Reeves Axness, one of the juniors. And great tradition of setters here at Champlin Park, and Axness, just a junior, 522 set assists. Uh, kind of the quarterback of that attack. Absolutely. We've uh, seen, like you said, a lot of, of really talented players come through uh, here at Champlin Park, especially at that setter position. Uh, you know, most notably, one of my favorite players to watch was always Izzy Ashburn. You know, she was uh, so creative, so talented, saw the whole floor so well, and, uh, you know, was always willing to, to share that spotlight with her her teammates and make sure that her teammates were the spotlight of those plays. Rebels grab the lead 4-3 into the net there was Lillian Jacobson. Serve continues for Axness. 5-10 junior. Once again the libero, Caitlin Erickson right in the middle. Good serve. And the Royals are going to try to get it to the front. Here's Olicki going wide. And it's 5-3. Four in a row for the Rebels. Set number one. Decent crowd here tonight, but it is warm. Hot over the weekend. Another hot day. And that one goes wide. Point to the Royals in. They'll get the serve back. Good run there for for Reese uh, on the service run. And, you know, the, the, the other thing, too, on that, uh, on that run, getting four straight points, was uh, the fact that Champlin didn't really have to get into their offense at all. Those were all really unforced errors on the Hopkins side. Griffin sends it back to Holicki, taps it over, Rebels set it up. Erickson back to Gilt. That one driven up into the rafters. And then right back the other way, a nice swing by Jennings, but the Rebels set it up. Hit on the far side by Inman. Hopkins right back at it, Holicki dug out by Erickson. Now in the middle, a swing by Bolter back to the net. And the Royals are just going to tap it over. They're going to set it up right in the middle. Big swing in the middle by Champlin Park, Caitlin Erickson. Or excuse me, that was uh, Adler, I believe, with the big swing in the middle. Yeah, real strong, getting up, uh, getting vertical. Up there, we'll see here, good set there by Axis, and, you know, strong up with that left hand right down that angled lane. Good work there for the Rebels, and then they give it right back. Yeah, Gilk into the net. And now Hopkins down by one will get the serve back. And serving away, Lena Cole. It's the ninth grader. Gilt's going to pop it toward the front. They'll just send it over. That's Ava Bolter. Near side, hit for Holicki. Dug out of there beautifully by Bolter to keep it alive. To the back line. And we have an net violation, and Champlin Park's going to extend their lead. Good passing uh, on that volley. Both sides actually had a really good... Uh, Good passing sets, kind of getting into rhythm, but, uh, you know, it ended up being a defensive play, a good dig there on the Champlain Park side that ended up leading them to uh, to get that point. Erickson the serve at the back line. Griffin, it's tapped over by Holicki. Rebels get it to the front in the middle. Dug right back out. Cole sends it over. Holicki into the net. Kind of was a little indecisive of what you wanted to do on that one. Yeah, you know, we've had a couple of opportunities so far here for uh, for Halicki uh, uh, on Hopkins, and each time she's been a little tentative. She hasn't really gone up with uh, with a lot of confidence uh, on those hits. A couple times she's had the verticality, she's had the the height on the jump to to get a good hit, but she hasn't been able to to execute or really go up and get it. That one goes wide, big swing in the middle by O'Connor, but it goes well wide. And the Rebels extend their lead to 9-5. Three-point run here, and Erickson serves again. And that one well long. So Rebels struggling with their serve early in this one. Some unforced errors, a couple long, one into the net by Gilk. And that, that, frankly, is keeping Hopkins in this first set right now. 
Yeah, you know, and, and there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, could be contributing to it. Obviously, the heat, you know, maybe a little fatigue. You're trying to overcompensate. Winner in the middle for Lily Reese. Rebels get the serve right back, 10-6. And Tyra Bellison now into serve will be Lily Holine, 5-4 junior. 11 aces this year, good serve to the back line. Royals to the front, Jennings, nice dig by Erickson. Terrific dig by Erickson. Jennings will pop it over, now an opportunity for the Rebels. Back set, swing, and a point for Reese. Yeah, really good uh, set up there. Champlin spreading the offense or the defense of Hopkins out by with that uh, wide set across. That dig right there, unbelievable Terrific. stuff right there um, by Erickson. And, you know, I think she might have gotten helped out. I don't know if that was going to fall on the line. It was really close. I think, uh, you know, it might have been worth the opportunity to try and let that drop it looked like both uh, feet for uh, o'connor on the on the hopkins royals were uh, were out of bounds so i'm thinking it might have fallen but uh, you know then it comes back down on the near side good kill opportunity and and put home yeah you need uh, the big swings up front but uh, the play of the libero is so huge to to dig those out and save you know just two or three points a game is huge and and can pay dividends over the course of a match, especially against good teams. And that, that was terrific and kept the point alive. Yeah, you know, she and, you know, it, there's there's a reason she leads the team with, you know, almost 200 of those over the course of this season, you know, going through uh, all 18 matches. And, and so she's probably made that play in, in her sleep and she's uh, something used to it. But it's uh, still pretty uh, pretty cool for us to see something of that caliber. Get it in the middle, and that one a little long. Swing there by Reese goes long. And now it's 11-7. Hopkins will get the serve back. And they're going to substitute in. And this is Ashley Servi, a junior. 23 kills this year. Servi into the net. Well, both teams have kind of traded net serves. And now Champlin Park gets it right back up by five and going back to serve. Ava Bolter. Bolter, another one of those juniors, 5'9", 94 kills, 42 service aces. She gets great elevation. That one's dunked. Dunked in the middle by Lily Reese. That, that was one of those, just a cookie, and she was able to slam that home. You, you get those every once in a while. You play the net, and you pay uh, with your head up. You get those opportunities. You, you try and make sure that they count. Nate Sir, net serve dug out of there by Griffin. Swing near side. Jennings blocked. Champlin Park. They pop it over. That was Holicki. And now the Rebels right back at it. Back set, Gilk. Point. 14-7 Rebels. That's a, that's some power right there. Carly Gilk, you know, we've talked about some of the stats, the 235 kills here through uh, 18 matches. Uh, but you see it right there on display. She was uh, soaring through the air. She had that one. Bolter goes long. Good read by Hopkins. 14-8. Royals get the serve back. And back to the service line, Caitlin, Caitlin O'Connor. And O'Connor goes to work. Good deep serve. Holing gets it to the front. That's a swing by Reese. Hopkins keeps it alive. Jennings knocks it over. Dug out by Erickson. Fire side. Tapped over by Reese. Holicki. Touch into the middle. Just a little finesse play. Found the opening. 14-9. Hopkins to serve. Yeah, really good play there from the back row. And, uh, you know, actually a, a couple of good plays there by Holicki in the back row. The first uh, was a dig that uh, saved that one and then uh, finishing off with a back row kill. There's a clean swing by Lily Reese. And they get it right back, 15-9, to nine, Rebels by six. And on to serve is Lily Reese. Six-foot senior, big part of things. Second in kills with 158 coming in. And that one goes wide. And John Yunker on the sideline, so calm, makes a note. Says, <laughs> maybe we need to work on that and practice tomorrow. 
He is so calm during these matches, e- e- even big matches. You know, section, state, remains calm. Gilk left side. They got it there by Jennings in the back. They get it to Holicki and a point for Hopkins. Uh, it, she, she made some mistakes early, but has picked up a couple of points, Pete. Way more aggressive. You yeah. know, she came out of the out of the game on her rotation, and then, you know, she comes back in and is able to, uh, to play really aggressive, has a back row hit that was really pretty. And then uh, that one, she fights that one through some defense and gets that point. Now they uh, give it right back on a service error. Yeah, Jennings serves it out. Rebels have the lead, 16 to 11. And on to serve, Reese Axness. The team's been on, able to get on a, a roll at all here tonight. Here's Jennings, taps it over. Dug out by Erickson. Right back into the middle, big hit. Inside, that was Adler, 6'1", junior. I love that, uh, that you know, that quick set, that middle slide where you just get in there, you're real tight with your your middle blocker, and you, you set it up for her. She gets to get underneath it and see it the whole way. Agsness out, 17-12. And, and I think shot of John Younger is... <laughs> A little frustrated by how the service game's going so far tonight. Here's Griffin with the serve. Rebels in the middle. Another opportunity. And I think that was Adler again in the middle. 18-12. Carly Gilk to serve. 6-2 junior. That one into the net. It works. 18-12 Rebels. Sometimes, you know, you, you just kind of get lucky. If you hit it hard enough, you hit that tape. I mean, you're, you're trying to typically stay real close to that tape. And uh, if you hit it hard enough, it finds its way through and, and has a good result. Jennings with the big swing. And Rebels couldn't dig it out. Erickson got a hand on it. Not enough. 19-13. And it goes right back to the Royals. And... And Nicole will serve. Oh, let's just send it over. That was Bolter. Near side, Holicki with the winner. And she's really picked it up. Yeah, you know, you... you, you you could see it early on. It just, uh, it, you know, wasn't there. Something wasn't clicking. She gets gets on the bench, comes back in, and, you know, now she's one of the more dominating players on the floor. Rebels near side. And that one's to the Rebels. Adler. 20 to 14, and now to serve. Caitlin Erickson. Adler's going to sit. And now the libero. The Rebels five points away from an opening set win, and she goes long. Well, it's really flying here tonight. A lot of serves going long. And now Holicki for Hopkins. Gilt toward the net. Kept alive and blocked right down. Nice play inside by O'Connor. Rebels a little mixed up. In the middle, and they get the point back. Now down by four. Holy key again. Gilk digs it out. In the middle. Reese couldn't put it away. Hopkins. Jennings just sends it over and gets the point. Well, that was kind of a mix-up between Erickson and Gilk in the middle. 20-17. to 17, Things tightening up, Pete. Yeah, you know, and a really good play there, you know, late by Amaya Jennings. She recognized nobody was going to get it, and she just went and and uh, made a late play in the ball, and I don't know if uh, Champlain Park was not ready for it or didn't anticipate her going to get it. That one's long by Bolter, 20-18. to 18. Four in a row for the Royals here late in set number one. Georgia Holicki will continue to serve, and she's come up huge for Hopkins late in this game. Gil sends it to the front. In the middle. Nice dig right back over. Erickson will set it up. Gilk from the back. 
Oh, wow. Well, like he sends it right back, but wide. Oh, too bad. 21-18. She just missed that one. And again, you know, it, 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 she was trying to take a little bit off. And yep. when she it, she does that, you can see it already. When she's just trying to be precise and fine, she doesn't have the the, the same uh, level of, of accuracy. Jennings, look out. Twenty nineteen, Hopkins will get it back. So the Royals not backing down here in this first set. And on to serve. Calabria. Sophia Calabria a senior. A big spot here. Good serve, and that's an ace. And that just handcuffed Erickson. 21-20. Champlin Park, one point up 19-12. Eat two run by Hopkins. Serve hit the tape. Doubles are just going to pop it over with Bolter. Now they get it in the middle. Holicki missed that one wide, 22-20. Now they teed it up for her. And swing went wide. Yeah, you know, in, in that one... Uh, Again, I think she was trying to aim instead of just trying to power. And uh, we've seen, hey, she's got success with the power. Does, let's, let's not uh, fix, what's not, fix what's not broken. Bolter into the net. 22-21, Hopkins has served. Set number one. Royals hanging in there against number three, Champlin Park. Caitlin O'Connor to serve. Gets it over. Gilt sends it to the front. Set up by Axness. Block point. Well, Reese got it over, partially blocked, but on the Hopkins side. 23-21 Rebels. Yeah, had to had the people in place. Did Hopkins get in there, getting the block on the near side? It just took a, a couple of bounces against the net, and both players weren't able to make uh, make a play there. Reese with the ace, and that gets us to set point 24-21. So Lily Reese. Two seniors at play a ton for John Yunker. Serving for the set here. 24-21. Good serve. Jennings dug it out. Hopkins is just going to send it over. Jennings will do that. And now the Rebels get it set in the middle. Big swing. And that's a winner. 25-21. So Champlin Park pulls it out. But give Hopkins credit, they pulled the within one in that set. Yeah, very, very tough battle. You know, you, you, you saw a couple of things. Really good uh, work there uh, by Isha Khan, the head coach for the Hopkins Royals, uh, you know, utilizing her subs, uh, rotation, and uh, and kind of riding the ship a little bit, allowing the, the, the Royals to get close, uh, just come out up a little bit short. Quick break. We'll have set number two coming up. Champlin Park wins set one, 25-21 here on QCTV. I taught for 20 years, but I started forgetting my lectures. Eventually, he had to quit. My therapist recommended we go to the doctor. The early Alzheimer's diagnosis allowed us to take control of the situation. He's been such a positive force and, and so loving. Thank you. You're welcome. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. As Americans, there's one thing we can all agree on. The promise of our Constitution and the hope that liberty and justice is for all people. For over 100 years, the ACLU has fought on behalf of millions of Americans, protecting our vote and our voice. Freedom to love who we love, the right to choose, and much more. Learn how ACLU's Defending Free Speech and all our civil liberties at myaclu.org. to leave my baby in the hospital NICU. 
If we come together, we can help every mom and baby be healthy and strong. Joy March for Babies, a mother of a movement. <clears throat> You're not gonna get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Mama! Like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Um, it was... And welcome back to Champlin Park. Set number two coming up. Number three, Rebels taking on the Hopkins Royals. Champlin Park up 19-12 in the first. And Hopkins cut it to 22-21 before the Rebels scored the final three to claim that set. And I, I would assume one of the things they want to clean up is the service areas, Pete. Yeah, uh, you know, by my count, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight service errors in that first set for Champlin Park. Uh, you know, that that's definitely a, uh, you know, for any volleyball coach, that's going to be uh, an opportunity to, to coach, to get better, um, and, and to try to improve because obviously uh, you're not even giving your team a chance to, uh, to try and earn or defend a point um, in those situations by committing those service errors. So you, you think, uh, you know, if we cut those in half, maybe you don't uh, have to work as hard and stress as hard towards the end of the set. Holter gets one in. She leads the team in aces. Royals pop it over. The uh, Champlain Park goes to work. Tapped over in the middle, right back down. Royals keep it alive. Great job by Erickson, but they're going to give the point to the Royals. Well, that was a good battle at the net. Erickson tried to dig it out. And Hopkins is going to get the first point of set number two, and they'll go to work and serving O'Connor. <laughs> that was spirited. And they just send it over with Reese. Back to Hopkins. Jennings. No, that isn't Jennings. That is Win. Lily Win with the first kill of the night. By my count, 2 0 Hopkins. Yeah, real athletic there on the right side. Got up well above the uh, the ball and, and was able to place that in the back row in an open spot on the floor. Good job there by Miss Wynn. Yeah, terrific. Here's Gilk. That's going to go up into the rafters. Hopkins keeps it alive. Holicki sends it over. Erickson waiting. Now back set Gilk. Blocked beautifully by Hopkins in the point. Terrific middle block. Jacobson was there. And Jennings, 3-0 Royals. Uh, wow. Uh, you know, th that's, uh, you know, getting in that uh, in that kitchen of Gilk. I mean, she's got such power, and, and Jacobson staying in there was, uh, you know, being able to get in there. And then, I mean, that just, she, all the power is generated by Gilk there. Kind of undefensible play. Erickson into the net. Rebels get a point, get the serve. And this will be Caitlin Erickson. One player to watch. Serve. Dug out of there by Griffin. Tap down. And the point to the Rebels at the net was Axness over on the far side. They're actually, I think, going to give the point to Hopkins on that play. I think they're going to reverse to John Yunkers up. But it was Axness who tapped it over the net. And they are indeed going to give it. So now it's 4-1 Hopkins. So I and think they will serve. I, I think Coach Yunker, he, he, you know, he got out of his chair there. He, uh, you know, had uh, had a comment, and uh, you know, the point's going to go to to Hopkins. But I think he had a point that it did get blocked down, but it did touch O'Connell on the outside. Guilt goes long. Jennings will continue, and Hopkins 5-1. They had a 3-1 lead early in set number one. They're up 5-1 to one here. And once again, Jennings to serve. They send it to the front. Big swing and partially blocked, but it's the point for Adler. 
Yeah, good uh, good angle there for Adler. She saw that the you know the the defense in front of her wasn't necessarily square, and had a had a little bit of a gap. She was able to, to power it through and and have it fall to the floor. Anxious to serve, and that's long. Another service error, and it's six to two. And so far, that's been the theme of the night. Champlain Park, one set, one 25-21, in spite of a lot of service errors. Here's a service by Griffin into the middle. Champlain Park just taps it over. And now over on the far side, win, big drive. And they can't keep it alive. Her second kill, 7-2, Hopkins. Yeah, real big power there uh, by Wynn. I'm surprised we didn't see more of her in that first set. I think, uh, you know, having that third option with Holicki and Griffin both being back row uh, players as well. Axness couldn't tee it up. Unforced error by her. 8-2 Hopkins, Griffin to serve. That one goes wide. 8-3, Rebels to serve, and it's going to be Carly Gilk. Even though they won set number one, not playing particularly well right now, Pete. No, it's it's not very clean. Uh, a little bit of uh, miscommunication there on their scramble plays. That you know, a lot of those uh, plays, they seem to be just a step slow or not necessarily reading the play very well. And uh, you you just kind of assume that eventually that'll get cleaned up. Winner there for Nola Hader Harrelson for Champlin Park. And the junior gets a point, 8 4. Kind of took a swing from the sideline, but have found an open spot. Gilt continues to serve. Dug out by Jennings. Sent over. They get it over far side. Bolter, and that's going to be. A kill for Champlin Park, and they get three in a row and are now within three, and Gilk will continue to serve. Good service run here for uh, for Gilk, and that brings the Rebels to within three, looking to shorten that up even more. Jennings toward the front, over the net, tap down. That's Adler right in the middle. She found a spot, 8-6. It continues. I think for Champlin Park, just drop that into play and let your defense go to work. She gets another one in. Griffin. That's over into the Hopkins bench. That's an ace. Eight seven. Five in a row for the Rebels. Yeah, really good run. Uh, you know, Gilk's got that strong left hand, uh, you know, line drive serve. Real tough to uh, to see, and she's going right at Griffin. Pops Jennings it into in the, the back air. Line. And the point. Well, they got Holicki a swing, and she got a point back for Hopkins. And now the Royals are going to send Cole to the service line. Her team up 9-7. That one to the back line, and that handcuffed Erickson. She couldn't do anything with it. Her and Gilk went back on it, and it just went toward the spectators. 10-7 now, Royals. Erickson sends it toward the front. Axness. Gives it to Bolter, and there's a point for the Rebels. 10-8. And now Adler will serve for Champlin Park. Adler third in the team in kills, coming in with 114. Adler is long. There it is again. That's a long serve. And now Holicki for Hopkins. Eleven nine. Lee Holine to serve.
Jennings into the net. A little deep there, Pete. Yeah, you know, a little bit behind her. She wasn't uh, able to to work behind that uh, that pass and that set and able to, to see her target. She just tried to kind of rely on her athleticism. Came up just a little bit short. There's Jennings. What a dig by Gilk. Sets it up in the middle. Hopkins keeps it alive. They're going to pop it over. Griffin does the honor. And that's tapped over for a winner. Great vision by Reese Axness. We're tied at 11. That's a that, that's a really heads up play, especially after uh, you know uh, how Hopkins battled to get that pass over on the last uh, portion of the volley. Near side, Jennings. Oh, point to Champlin Park. Double hit. Rebels grab the lead with four in a row. 12-11. That one toward the antenna, kept alive by Hopkins. Griffin sends it over. Good job by the Royals at the net. Near side, nice block near side. I think it was Jennings with the block. And we're tied at 12. Terrific block by Jennings. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Sarvi was in there too for Ashley Sarvi. Yep. Uh, w was in there helping out. Uh, really good work there, good rotation by the Royals there. Calabria with the serve, near side, Bolter, dug out by Hopkins, Jennings. It's set a little too close to the net. And now it's 13-12, Rebels get it back, and it'll be Bolter to serve. Yeah, set placement the last couple times, trying to set up for Jennings. It's just been a little bit off, uh, not allowing her to get really good position and then you've got a service ace right there on her first uh, serve this time around for Ava Bolter had a lot of the tape but crawled over 14 12 rebels they were down 11 8 they're in a 6 1 run that one long Hopkins gets it back down by one and O'Connor will serve again back on the floor win Champlin Park back at it. On defense, Erickson to the front. Here's Gilt, taps it over. Nice dig by Jennings. And now they'll pop it over. That's O'Connor. Champlin Park gets it set up. Back set, Gilt blocked by Hopkins. Another terrific block near side. Jacobson and Jennings were there. Tied at 14. Yeah, really good uh, play there by Jacobson. That block was uh, something special. Axness feeds Gilk. That goes long. 15-14. Well, they, they've been able to defend Carly Gilk tonight. Yeah, they've, uh, you know, it, it been right there, uh, Johnny, on the spot, uh, both uh, every time that she's been coming up to hit and uh, had a couple of really big blocks, undefendable blocks. O'Connor out. We're tied at 15, and now... Erickson to serve the libero for Champlin Park and John Yunker. 15 all. Erickson. Long. <laughs> the service errors. If, if there's a theme, that's probably it. You know, and ask yes, John after it. Yeah, I mean, we we had eight in the uh, in the first set just by Champlin Park, not counting, uh, you know, the the number that we had. We had a number four from Hopkins. Nice dig by O'Connor. Holicki pops it over for Hopkins. They get it back to the net. Gilt taps it over. Hopkins keeps it alive. Jennings, she'll send it right back over. Now in the middle, back set. Gilt taps it over and down. She went right down the net and got the point. 16 all. And Champlin Park subbing and now oh, Axness to serve. Schmidt wearing number one is, is setting a moment ago. Jennings will send it over. Near side, Gilk. Back out of there by Griffin. I think we got a 
That violation on Champlin Park. How about that? Hopkins up by one as we move late in set number two. 17-16. And serving here is going to be Griffin. The libero for Hopkins. Axness to Gilk. Taps it over. O'Connor. Near side, Holicki blocked by the Rebels. Good middle block. I think that could have been Adler with the block. He's getting a lot of congratulations. Tied at 17. It was definitely Adler with that block. You know, she saw that one coming the whole way. Uh, you know, Holicki coming with that strong move that uh, was successful her, for her late in set number one. That time she saw it coming, did, did uh, Adler. Jennings sends it toward the middle. Holicki sends it. Over the net. Axness over to Bolter. Block. Another block. Hopkins defensively over there. That was Win. That was Sarvi. And they have the lead back and the serve. They, they've done a nice job defensively at the net. Absolutely, they have. And, uh, you know, it's been a little bit of help from Champlin, but, uh, you know, it, Hopkins has been playing well. And that one by Cole goes long, so service there is galore here tonight. Number three, Champlin Park hosting Hopkins. Rebels won the first set. Here we are, set number two. First serve. Good heavy serve there by Adler. Hopkins, Holicki sends it over. Good dig by Gilk. And Hopkins the point. I think Holicki was able to just kind of send that one quickly back. Royals lead by one. Lucky to serve. Into the middle. Look out. Big swing by Lily Reese. That was terrific. Just a clean swing there. Yeah, real, uh, real good move there by Reese. Uh, saw the back corner wide open and didn't miss her spot. Jennings. Taps it over. Quite a dig by Holain. Gilk. There's a touch. That'll be a kill for Gilk. 2019 Rebels. Coming into this set, uh, Carly had three kills in that first set. Now she, that's her second here in this set for five on the match. The back line. This will be Jennings. Sends it over. Gilk weighing back. Axness in the front. And another winner for Reese. 21-19. And we have a timeout for Hopkins, and for good reason. Champlin Park getting momentum late in this game. They're already up 1-0. Yeah, you know, and especially with the, the way that this set started, um, you know, Hopkins going on a, a really, really, you know, good run. They were up as, uh, as high as 8-3 as to three early on. And then, uh, you know, Champlin kind of battling back here and there, getting a couple points back with Carly Gilk uh, and the service. She had one service ace in there. Uh, another one helping out with the uh, with the serving is uh, whole line. You know, it, it's a team effort. And, uh, you know, with Champlin Park uh, Volleyball, you always know they're going to have a couple of really good players. Some people might not always be in their game. It's hot, like you said in here. You know, that's going to have an extra drain on somebody, especially, you know, you kind of, get out of that uh, that August early September range and you probably don't pay as much attention to the hydration stuff that you usually do in those those early months but uh, you know a couple of uh, really big plays here down the down the stretch some really good power plays uh, Lily Reese has been s very solid here in the last uh, handful of points oh big spot here a whole line to serve again for the Rebels Get it to Jennings, taps it over, and gets the point. Beautiful play. Flies through the air with the left hand and finds the open spot on the floor. 21-20. Hopkins down by one. They'll serve. Sophia Calabria to serve. One of many seniors on this Royals roster. Axis over to Bolter, and that's good. That's going to... Fall inside the line, 22-20, Rebels by two. That was a terrific swing. 
tucked it in. Here's Ava Bolter. Once again, leads the team in aces with 42. Toward the net, tapped right back down, but Hopkins the point. Good job over there by O'Connor. Got to see that one was going to go wide, that block. And now 22-21, and the Royals to serve, and O'Connor's serving. Oh, that was a good, smart play over there by the net. Yeah, you know, she saw that one. It actually, you know, very similar to the uh, the play that we saw before that uh, John Yunker questioned. Uh, this time, O'Connor didn't even attempt. How about that? Reese just tapped it over, and no one was home. 23-21. Rebels up by two. They get the serve back. It'll be Eric's and the libero to serve. At the end of the day, the goal is to, you know, just get it over the net and sometimes just, you know, doing so, good things happen. And Champa Park looking to take advantage here, just two points away from a set two victory. O'Connor to Jennings and just a little too close to the net again. And now set point. Rebels up 24-21. And Erickson will serve and we'll get another timeout here late in set number two. Steve Thompson. Pete Anderson and our QCTV crew on this warm Monday night. And, of course, uh, we've still got a lot to go. Boys and girls soccer headed for section play before long. Volleyball, football season already winding down. It's going quick. Yeah, we're halfway through the uh, the regular season. Uh, you know, last uh, Friday provided to some some interesting logistic uh, questions that football hasn't had to, to face, uh, you know, really uh, probably ever. I mean, I, you know, I've been... Oh, severe around. weather moving through where the games had to be postponed. Yeah, you know, and um, I'm not going to lie, I was sitting there and, you know, uh, coaches are all panicking and I just looked at him and I was like, welcome to the life as a baseball coach. Like, yeah. this is, these are things that we deal with uh, every year and, uh, you know, the fact that uh, multiple, I mean, basically the entire Metro uh, you know, had to deal with the, the last Friday and playing games either tonight or uh, Saturday morning was, uh, yeah, you know, a little a bit night. of a changeup. Erickson serving for the set. Jennings over. The line in the back sends it to the front. Gilk dug out of there by Griffin for Hopkins. Back to the net. Tapped over. Hopkins keeps it alive. Jennings. That was Schmidt digging it out. Champlin Park. Good volley here. Jennings over and in for a point. Hopkins down by two. Still set point for Champlin Park. And Jennings will go back to serve. Terrific play by both teams. Yeah, Jennings is, uh, you know, she's she's not afraid to go up and hit. She also loves that, that soaring little tip, you know, just yep. uh, redirection, if you will. And, uh, you know, she's got the athleticism to be able to, to do both, you know, the finesse game and the power game. Jennings knocks it over, dug out by Erickson, and point to Hopkins, 24-23. Huge point, still set point for the Rebels, but Hopkins can, can extend this set right here with Jennings serving. Job one, get it in play, and she does. Schmidt over to Gilk, there it is. Champlin Park prevails 25-23, and with the set on the line, who do they go to? Yeah, you know, I, I think that you, that's the that's the call. I don't know if that uh, came from the bench or the you know the girls themselves on the floor just saying, hey, you know what, Let, let's let's go to our our big hitter here. Um, you know, I think if that gets to a 24-24. Uh, scenario coach Yunker is calling a timeout and just calming him down trying to you know displace the rhythm of of Jennings uh, service on the other side uh, looking for any advantage he potentially could but uh, it, it didn't matter uh, Carly Gilt gets up there she goes up and has some power drives it through finds a, a lane through the Hopkins Royals defense and it's two sets to none in favor of the Rebels so Rebels win this one 25-23 they won set one 25-21 the third coming up here on QCTV. Professional football player and proud supporter of the Muscular Dystrophy Association. My mom was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was 14 and I watched her struggle, but MDA helped her get the best treatments and care. And they also help kids 
like my buddy Ethan. My name is Ethan and I'm 12 years old. Thanks to the Muscular Dystrophy Association and people like you, I have more hope than ever before. From day one, they've treated me like family at my local care center. AMDA is the only one that funds over 150 care centers across the U.S. to help provide state-of-the-art care for adults and kids like me. For over 70 years, MDA has been transforming the lives of people living with muscular dystrophy, ALS, and other related neuromuscular diseases. They fund the research for breakthrough treatments, care, and cures. And MDA provides support to thousands of families like mine and Ethan's in communities like yours. Thanks to MDA, kids and adults can live life to its fullest. Join us and learn more at MDA.org today. At the U.S. Center for Safe Sport, we see champions everywhere we look. In every sport, on every court, we're building a foundation to ensure all athletes are safe, supported, and strengthened. At the U.S. Center for Safe Sport, ending abuse is not just our job. It's our promise. When a crisis hits. And welcome back to Champlin Park. It is Monday night volleyball. The number three Rebels hosting Hopkins and Steve Thompson, Pete Anderson, and got to give the Royals credit. They come in eight and seven, Champlin Park, number three, 14 and four. But the Royals have really hung in there and made it difficult for Champlin Park tonight. And Champlin Park, while they've had some service errors, Hopkins has done some things very well. As a matter of fact, defensively at the net, they, they, they've put up some big time resistance to the Rebels. Yeah, you know, and uh, y there's been some really athletic plays. I think, uh, you know, having, um, you know, Amaya Jennings is is a big help. She's able to play the back row. She's got power from the back row, or she's had a couple of back row kills, um, you know, and, and plenty of attacks from the back row. Uh, Lily Wynn stepped up that, uh, that last set and, and showed a couple of real athletic plays. Um, Caitlin O'Connor, you know, just a smart volleyball player. She's been a, been involved in a few blocks and uh, a couple plays where she's wisely let it out. Um, but, uh, you know, ultimately it's, the, you know, the talent and, and deferring to the talent on the Champlain Park side, going to Carly Gilk, uh, trusting their, their, their digs at Caitlin Erickson, their back row and their defensive specialist of whole line. Uh, it, it's been it's been a good match so far at Champlain Park, just uh, kind of weathering the storm of Hopkins each set. Here's Griffin sending it over to Jennings and Jennings. And now they'll set it up and that's a point. To Champlin Park. Lily Reese got it over. It was blocked but wrong side of the net for Hopkins. Champlin Park opening point of the third set. They're up 2-0 in this one and serving is Caitlin Erickson in the libero. I think Champlin Park would like to get off to a fast start in this one. And they send it over to Jennings. Dug out of there beautifully by Holine. And it's going to be a point to Champlin Park. Net violation 2-0. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think it was... was uh, Holicki was who they called it on, but I'm not sure that was... Erickson gets it over. O'Connor... Sends it across, win. Dug out of there by Bolter. Now it's Gilk. And that is blocked. Beautiful block over there. Win and Jennings teamed up over there. 2 1, and now Hopkins. Jennings to serve. They've done a nice job at the net on Champlin Park. It's Adler sending it back to Gilk. Dug out of there by Jennings, right back over. And now Axness sends it across. Gilk will tap it in. Holicki got a hand on it. Jennings to the net, but not over. 3-1 Rebels. And that's one where she wasn't sure if she wanted to drop a hammer. Kind of got caught in between. Yeah, just a little hesitation there. Not, uh, not necessarily the, the most assertive play that we've seen on the Hawkins side and uh, you, you kind of think that that would be one that on the film you probably say let's let's have that one back win big swing can 
Erickson send it over. Great hustle play by Bolter in the middle. Dug out by Gilt. Champlin Park taps it, taps it over. Here's Holicki. She'll tap it over into the net point for Hopkins. Good play there by Holicki. That, that was terrific, though, as Bolter ran it down. And then Caitlin Erickson sent it back over. That was quite a hustle play for the Rebels, even though they don't get the point. That is Griffin on the serve. O'Connor back over to Griffin. Now Holicki has to tap it over. Axness back set Gilk. Griffin to the middle, O'Connor. Now Erickson for the Rebels. And that one goes out. Ultimately, the big swing by Adler. That's a point for the Rebels, 4-2. Yeah, really uh, really good play there set up by the Rebels. Uh, good rotation. Adler is able to get a good swing on it. Um, Jennings on the background nearly saved that one, just uh, came out. Ace for Gilt, 5-2. And like I say, Champlin Park would love to get a little breathing room in this third. And Hopkins... Battle back, both sets. O'Connor, tapped over by Wynn. Hopkins right back. They just kind of tap it back and forth over the net. Near side, Holinky goes across for a winner. 5-3. Yeah, you know, I, I, we've seen a couple times, you know, Jennings and, and Wynn they go up and, you know, they play a little bit more of a finesse game at some times. They, they switch back and forth. Holicki is, has shown, try, you know, attempts to try and do that finesse game, maybe redirect, take a little bit off. She should uh, maybe just stick with hitting it hard and, and hoping for good things to happen there because uh, she's a different player when she puts power into her kills. Bolter with the swing there, gets the kill, 6-3. Rebels have it. And... Axness to serve, and that one goes long, 6-4. Hopkins gets the serve right back. And Adler will sit. Holds her on the floor with Gilk. Erickson in the back row. And now the serve for Holicki. Axness in the middle, look out. That's been effective. They haven't gone to it a lot tonight, but Lily Reese put it away. That was nice. Yeah, no doubter right there for uh, for Reese. Lily had a, a lane straight down through. Nobody, uh, it, I think uh, Hopkins might have thought she was going to go at an angle. And uh, when you give a player as aggressive as Lily Reese a lane like that, she's going to take it and she's going to do it with authority. Whole line with the ace will get another one. 8 4. And. She's a big part of this, into the net there, but defensively, she is terrific. 8-5. And now Hopkins will get the serve back, and they're hanging around here in the third. Once again, they're very familiar with Wyzetta playing out of the lake. Number one ranked. Number one seed in the section, and there's one in the middle. What a big drive by Reese. Dug out of there by Hopkins. Point to Champlin Park. I tell you, Lily Reese just gets some cuts in the middle. Yeah, that one, uh, you know, goes is, a, is a, an error on, on Hopkins uh, getting into the net. But, uh, you know, that was all set up by Reese, mm. uh, you know, making that play. To the net. Tap down in the middle. That was excellent. 10-5, Champlin Park by five. Bolter continues her serve. Bolter, one of the many juniors. And that one's going to be a net violation on Hopkins. Or excuse me, net violation on the Rebels. 10-6, they'll get the serve back. And it'll be O'Connor. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, Pete. Yeah, I thought uh, I heard uh, the announcer say Royals yep. as well. Now Which... Connor to serve. Axness across Gilk. Look out. She really elevated there. 11-6. And, uh, and that kill here for, for Carly, her seventh on the night. 
She's just one behind Lily Reese, who has eight here tonight. Caitlin Erickson to serve. Jennings gets it to the front. O'Connor in the middle, tapped over, kept alive by Erickson. Here's Gilk. She'll send it over. Over with the left hand by Jennings. Beautiful play. And then tapped down by Axness. Just found an opening in that defense for Hopkins and took advantage 12-6 now. Now it's Erickson again. Good serve. Sends Jennings deep. Jennings will get it right side. Dug out of there. Rebels tap it over by Adler. It'll get the point. Nice work by Champlin Park to keep that alive. Then Adler sends it over. 13 to 6 Rebels. Yeah, this, uh, this front line for the Rebels is, is balanced. We talked about that in the onset of the show here tonight. Uh, you know, that balance is, is something that makes it for other defenses really tough to, uh, to prepare for. And that's showing up here tonight with uh, all three. Adler, Reese, and Gilk all with seven plus kills. And Gilk with another there. 14-6 Rebels. They're pulling away in the third. Hopkins right now substituting. Hopkins after tonight, just two to go. Tuesday at Edina. And then the following Tuesday at Robbinsdale Armstrong to wrap up the regular season. Three matches to go for Champlin Park after tonight. There's Jennings. What a dig by Bolter. Then Gilk. Erickson sends it over. Great work by the Rebels. Here's Win across. It's wide. 15 wow. 6 Rebels. Just wide. Just wide there for Lily. You know, she get, she attempts the cross court, has the lane, and and uh, just misses the line by, you know, looks like inches. That's, uh, that's one that she probably thinks she wants back, but she did everything right. Erickson drops his serve in. Here's win again. Taps it over, but wide again. Rebels by 10 in the third. We got a timeout. Hopkins, as the Rebels pull away in the third, they're up two sets to none here tonight. Thursday, Centennial here in Champlin Park finishes the regular season on the road. Tuesday, October 10th at St. Michael Albertville. And then Thursday, they'll be up at Andover, October 12th, to close it out. And then it's on to section play, and we mentioned at the top, Pete, you know, for Champlin Park, just continue to play, continue to get better with the idea that if they play well and do what they're supposed to do, they'll get another shot at Wyzetta in the section. Yeah, you know, that's the that's the goal is, is obviously a, you, you want to – you, you know, you'd like to have the easiest path through sections that you could possibly have, right, to go get a state title. Uh, but, you know, realistically, you, you know that uh, you're going to end up having to play YZ. And uh, that's what you prepare for. And you just got to know that, hey, we're, we're going to have to play probably a pretty close to perfect uh, match against uh, against YZ to, to uh, overcome them. Yeah, they played YZ twice. Uh, they had uh, YZ at the Southwest Minnesota Challenge down in Marshall. Got beat 2-1 to one, and then fell to YZ at YZ last Tuesday. Uh, the final three games to one. Here's Hopkins Jennings. Did she get it in? No, just a little long. 17-6. to six. And Champlin Park on a 7-0 run. Trying to put this one away tonight. Here's Erickson. Drops the serve in, and that's an ace. Now Erickson to serve one more time. And we have substitutions. Erickson continues to serve. Down the line, another ace. Well, they are up 10-6. Now it's 19-6. to And they're closing in on a straight set win here tonight at home. Malicki digs it out. Jennings will send it over. Bolter toward the net. Axness in the middle. Look out. Big swing by Adler. 20-6. to And the Rebels are really rolling. And it's kind of been set up by putting their serves in play. 
Yeah, you know, it, well, we saw it, right? Yeah. You know, first two uh, sets, uh, you know, we had a combined, uh, I, I believe the final tally was uh, was 13 service errors between the first two sets. And, you know, here in this one, we just had two, and including this run here by Erickson. Good dig by Bolter. Gilt sends it over. O'Connor at the net near side. Jennings taps it over. Bolter a dig. They send it over. Gilt. 21-6. And they are rolling four points away from a straight set win at home tonight. And they've cranked it up a notch. Erickson to serve. Drops it in again. Jennings. Gets it. Nice swing by Jennings, 21-7. And now she'll serve. They're going to need to get on a run here to keep this one alive tonight. Ultimately, a 11-point run there under the service uh, guidance of Kaylin Erickson. Axness, Gilk, look out. Gets it right back. And that's the thing about Gilk. Left side, near side. And a terrific feed by Axness. Just set it perfectly. And yeah, you know, yeah, and you know, that, that uh, kill right there, that attack was uh, the 10th uh, uh, kill there for, uh, for Gilk. As we uh, look here and have the upcoming schedule, as you mentioned, Steve, uh, coming up, there's Centennial at St. Michael at Andover uh, next week. Um, and, and, you know, all good matches for the Rebels, all opportunities for them to make sure that they're playing their best volleyball um, and, and continue on. And, and, you know, I guess first things first, right, you compete for the conference title before you get the section, you know, get sections and things like that. Hopkins upcoming uh, schedule at Edina at Armstrong to finish out their season over the next week or so. And it's on to sections for all these teams. And then uh, the goal to get to the Excel Energy Center in the state volleyball tournament. And for CX, girls and boys hockey. But uh, state volleyball tournament is phenomenal down there as well. It's a great time. Two courts going. Intense action. Great volleyball in all four classes. Into the net. And there's another service error. This time Reese Axis. 22 to 8, and now it's Griffin to serve for Hopkins there, Libero. Griffin with the ace. Got it deep, and I think Erickson was kind of like, should I let it go? And she made a play <laughs> on it. 22-9. That, that, that was in a tough spot. It, that, that one probably would have fallen in. There's another one she pops up. Gilk will send it to the front. Tapped over. Kept alive there by Inman. Big swing by Gilk. Blocked back by Hopkins. Terrific block. Holicki was up front. Sarvi was up front. And we've seen that time to time here tonight, Pete. Yeah, they, they've definitely got the you know some really, really good defensive pressure at the net. When they rotate right, and uh, right there, it was good work by Holicki and Sarvi to make that play. Axness feeds Adler and gets the point. 23-10. Champlin Park up two sets to none, and Carly Gilt will serve for the set and the match. Two points away. Drops one in. Jennings will get it back in the middle and send it over. Now it's Erickson. The Gilk. Big by Jennings. And the double hit. 24 10. Set point, match point here. Gilk to serve. 24 to 10. Gilk sends it deep. Griffin. Jennings over. That's it. Rebels win it. 25-10. And they go on to a straight set victory tonight. 25-21, 25-23.
close it out 25 to 10 here in the third. Moved to 15 and 4, the number three Rebels. Three to go in the regular season. Hopkins falls to 8 and 8. A really good match there uh, by that front line of Champlain Park. Uh, you know, Carly Gilk, 10 kills. Uh, Catherine Adler, she had nine. Car Lily Reese, she had eight. Um, you know, that kind of dominance up front is going to, to power a lot of teams to victory. Uh, you know, Hopkins played really, really tough in those first two uh, matches, or excuse me, sets. Um, you know, kind of kept alive by some service error mistakes on the Champlain Park side. But, you know, ultimately, Champlain Park, higher talent team, uh, you know, a little bit uh, more discipline, and uh, we're able to get, you know, rely on their foundational skills a little bit more than uh, Hopkins tonight. And served it better in the third. Absolutely. Clearly cleaned it up, and that, that, was, that was clearly the difference. Absolutely. That was the best set uh, that we've seen champ that we saw Champlain play tonight. Uh, you know, Caitlin Erickson, uh, Caitlin Erick Erickson being a, an instrumental part of that uh, with a, an 11 point run. She had two service aces in that one. Uh, you know, th that's that's a huge difference, especially when you look at, you know, the, what the scores of the first two sets, 25, 21, 25, 23, and then coming back 25, 10. I mean, that that's the difference right there, that 11 points. Pete, always good to see you. Take care, my man. Uh, big thanks to our QCTV crew on site here at Champlain Park High School and back in the studios. I'm Steve Thompson. Once again, our final score tonight, Champlain Park sweeps Hopkins tonight 3-0. Have a good evening.